Yeehaw, it's YouTube Tuesday. This is Jean with C A and J Farm. We're an educational retail herb, egg, and music farm here in beautiful Matthews County, Virginia. We usually landscape on Mondays and Tuesdays, but it's been so cold yesterday and today that we, we canceled. And I think we might could have toughed it out today. The sun feels awfully good, but it is pretty cold. And uh, it's awful when you're out there working and your hands are hurting and everything. So, yeah, you know, spring's coming. So that's just how it works out sometimes. But it was kind of good for me anyway. And I wanted to warn you about something. I've been uh, a master gardener since 1998. I've done all kinds of things. And I'm pretty casual about working when we're clearing underbrush. But we were working at Zoll Vineyards last Tuesday, um, clearing out his raspberry patch. And so we were down in the dirt, you know, digging out the weeds and everything and trimming back the raspberry canes. And some of them have thorns. Well, I got pretty scratched up. But, you know, you don't really think about it. As you get older, you really don't think about it. It's just like it's no big deal. And um, but the next day I and proceeded to the next few days to break out in just blisters all over my arms, a little bit on my tummy. And just I was just miserable. I was an oozy mess. And I thought, oh my God, what did I get into? I didn't see anything like poison ivy or poison oak or sumac or anything. And I didn't know what I'd gotten into. And, uh, but, you know, I looked it up and it says that, yes, coming into contact with the raspberry thorns can cause an extreme dermatitis. And I guess since I got so pricked up, it got into my bloodstream and caused a major histamine reaction. So um, CA immediately put me on high doses of vitamin C, uh, which I've been doing that, and that really helped. And then I got some calamine. I've been spraying that on there. And then I had some jewel weed salve I've been using too, especially now I'm going to use that as I'm as it's drying up and I want to moisturize my skin again. But um, um, oh, and I took a lot of, I took this nettle tincture that is also um, a natural antihistamine and uh, and would help with that. So, so I've really been doing that. I'm feeling a lot better, but I just wanted to warn you, be careful about things like that. It'll lay you low. I'll tell you what, I'm going to show you what I've been doing all day today. I've been washing eggs, so we are stocked up. I washed up all the eggs, getting ready for deliveries tomorrow. Um, I delivered to Health Trails Natural Food Store, and I delivered to a few other customers up and down Route 17. And then, of course, we'll be open on uh, Thursday Thursdays and Friday. We are going to be closed Saturday. Our farm's going to be at the, Dandel at the Daffodil Festival in Gloucester. So we'll be there at the corner of Main Street and Lewis Avenue. And we'd love to have you stop by for a hug and maybe buy some eggs. <laughs> I'll have some there. we got some duck and chicken. Chicken. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that washing eggs is always a chore around here. <laughs> if you ever have five minutes, I'm like, okay, come here and wash some eggs. <laughs> I'm actually in the store. I'm just going to show you. I'm out here in the store working, uh, putting the eggs up. And, you know, we've got lots of great stuff here. And we're going to be getting the store online if I can find five minutes. I'll tell you what. Because then you'll be able to look in online and see exactly what, what all we have. We're like a health food store. And, but we don't sell uh, processed foods. I really don't think processed foods are healthy. So we don't sell processed foods. We, um, but we sell a lot of good stuff, good wellness stuff. That, um, that is a good thing. We've got these great coffee cups too. And then we sell some box teas. And of course our eggs. And I'm going to go and take you in the back room. If you go through the curtains back here, you're stepping up into the um, old cookhouse of the house. This is the original cookhouse with the original floors, actually, from 1900. Uh, the ceiling we had to replace. It was pretty much gone, but the walls are the original 1900. Have a little art gallery uh, with Reggie, Reggie Resinol's uh, art. And then we've got all the teas. we got some vendors. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have you help me make one of my favorite teas because I'm all out of it. I'm going to set down my tripod here, and you can keep me company. Making one of my favorite teas. And, and look, look, look at my arms. Look at that. You know, you be careful gardening. Look at that. It is, and I'm getting better. <laughs> this is better. <laughs> so you be careful out there. Um, yes, be careful. Don't let things prick you up, and, um, and just, just be careful, okay? Um, okay, my one of my favorite tea, tea blends that I have is uh, nettle, lemon balm, ginger, and dandelion. And so, and I'm all out, and so I'm going to make some. This is kind of a weird light, isn't it? Kind of shining on me, but I guess 
it is what it is. The lighting's kind of funny in here. Anyway, we're going to put it in this little uh, tea thing, you know, one of my favorite little tea things, as a blend. Okay, we're going to, I'm going to tilt you down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, we're going to add some nettle. Now, nettle is what I took when I had my reaction to getting pricked by all those raspberry thorns. I'm going to put some nettle in there. Nettle is full of minerals and vitamins. Um, it's really good for painful muscles and joints. Helps with eczema. Uh, people, it's very good for urinary tract health, and it's very good for, um, it's a natural antihistamine. So very good at this time of year with all the allergies that we have coming. Then I love a little ginger. Okay, ginger is it good for your digestion. Oh, it smells so good too. It's good for your digestion. It improves your immunity, helps with nausea and upset stomach. They think it's a major cancer fighter. And it's just one of those immune boosting herbs that, you know, is really good. So, um, also helps with an anti-inflammatory and helps with osteoarthritis. So it helps with morning sickness too. Put it down there. Okay, and then I have lemon balm. Lemon balm is one of my favorite teas. I love it, especially, I'll drink it all day, but I especially like it in the evening. Lemon balm is, let's find my notes here, so I'll be sure and tell you everything. Helps relieve stress and anxiety, helps boost your brain function, and can help ease insomnia and helps with uh, sleep disorders. It's always really good. It's also really good for menstrual cramps and cold sores. It's one of those good things. And then dandelion. Okay, dandelion, you have to be a little careful with it because it's, um, I think it's a natural blood thinner. See, if you're already on a blood thinner, be careful with that. It also has a diuretic effect, which will help you pee. <laughs> so, lowers your blood sugar, has lots of antioxidants, can help with your cholesterol and weight loss. It's a natural anti-inflammatory, improves your immune system, and can help with your urinary tract. So I'm going to mix this all up. All of these are great herbs, and they do so much um, that it's hard. Oh, here's a piece of nettle. Didn't get chopped up too good. We actually grow. Um, all of our herb beds are starting to grow in now. We actually grow and, and dry a lot of our um, herbs that we sell here at the farm, which is always a good thing. Oh, ginger. Ginger's getting me. That ginger powder will get you. Okay, see, I've mixed that up. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. I hope I don't. That ginger powder always gets up my nose. <coughs> Have you noticed if you sneeze at Walmart lately, everybody acts like you're going to kill them? You have to be careful where you sneeze these days. Okay. So now I've got my tea blend all ready to go. Sorry about that. Fell over. <laughs> uh, ginger's getting up my nose. Um, anyway, it's nice to have a little time today uh, to refill my tea blends and to work on eggs. <clears throat> ginger's getting me. And just to recover from, you know, I needed a few days just to kind of rest, let my arms heal, and uh, I'll be ready to go tomorrow. So anyway, you take some time too. Um, it's kind of hard coming from winter, going into spring and getting busy and everything and the different changes in this weather is really tough on our bodies. So you take some self-care too. And I'll see you later in the week. We'll do our farm journal and our farm share check-in towards the end of the week. Be well.